one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is actually, these are one of the most favorite cars that I've ever driven in my life. This is a 2000 Jaguar XJR, and yes, it's the supercharged one, and in case you couldn't hear me over the super cycle, the supercharged one, and it's in great shape. It's a one owner car. It's only got 58,000 original miles on it, and it's in absolutely just great shape. Looks awesome. Um, love them big wheels. I don't remember if these are 18s or 20s. I'm gonna have to check that out, and we'll do that in the walk around here. Um, my name is Nathan. It's 406 544 6919 if you wanted to call me up. The car is for sale. And if you're looking for one, stop it and call me. This is the one. And these sure look good in white. A Mercedes, a Jag, and Lexus and all them, they look good in white. And I'm not a big white car fan, but with this particular car, I am. Plain and simple. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I've got a windy day in front of a highway. Hey, that kind of rhymed. So I hope you can hear me fine and I'll speak up a little bit and all that good stuff. I'm gonna do the outside and show you all that. The XJR's got a little bit bigger of a Jaguar on the hood. I'm not sure. It's, it's beautiful. And I'll have my receipts in the future. Here, got a couple cobwebs. When I do the interior, I'll show you all that. Um, I put a bunch into the motor. I think it's had the front clip thing here, this part painted over like he scuffed it some and because of that that's what leads me to believe that you wouldn't know it anywhere else um little ding right there little ding right there so let's check this car out going down the sides it's absolutely beautiful hard to find a ding or anything i'm sure i'll miss one somewhere there's always a ding there's this a ding is slit a gouge in the wheel and I want to be up front about it. And hey, we can look and see what size they are. What size are they? 25540 R18, just so you know. It's a Potenza, a Bridgestone. Um, man, I'll tell you, it's just nice and straight as can be. Rock guard chip stuff down here. Wheel wells have got the undercoating in there still. That sun kind of glares off weird. It's in great shape. Um, a little smudge from when we wiped it down. Yeah, it's just a smudge. Man, I'm sure, I'm gonna say there's a ding here somewhere, <laughs> but I can't find it, man, it's straight. Right there, there's maybe a ding, I don't know. Let me look back at it a different way. And we'll look tonight, too. Maybe that'll, man, it's straight. Let's just say a ding somewhere. I don't see it, though. And coming up over the top, just nice as it gets. I love the ass ends of these. Sorry if I said a bad word there or something. A little chip here. Love the exhaust. And now the XJRs in this year were badged XJ8. It's a sleeper. The ultimate sleeper, actually. This car is quick. That's all there is to it. I love them big old wheels. It looks so sick. Oh, there's a ding right there. And let's see, going down this side. Not so much, man. Ding somewhere, let's just say that. I can't find, oh wait. It's real dusty out here where I am, by the way. Yeah, there's a little ding right there, tiny. <laughs> Maybe a tiny one right there. A little insignificant scratch there and there. And that's about it. A little bit of wear in a couple spots. More on the front wheels. Kind of losing the gloss coat and let's see that's about that um ding here like i showed you and there's this crack in the grill honestly a guy could just like act like it wasn't there but 
There's a crack in that piece. And that grill. And that is a little loose because of it. So that is like that. Yeah, he definitely resprayed over this. I'm thinking. Um, let me show you. Pop the hood. Here. Look how nice it is in here. No wear on the pedals or anything. A little mark right there. It clicks a little when you open it. Sometimes if it hits that just right. Let's look at the back of this here. Yeah. You could have broke that surround there a little bit on the other side there. So it's there. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. This motor is likely my favorite. Man, I'll tell you, I love a W140. It's my favorite car in the world. Actually, that hood didn't go down right. My favorite car in the world. And um, makes it a little hard for it to be your favorite with the power that these put out. Um, I'm having a little trouble on that. I want to see what happens here. Hang on. Okay, I just flicked it and pushed it down, which left this side up, which will go down. Okay, well, I closed it like that this time. Um, there we go. That's pretty much it. I think you could use a little uh, adjustment on the front. I gotta talk to him. There we go. There we go. Just had to be down. Now, that's likely down a little bit because of it. I'll try and adjust that and show you in the next video. Um, it looks pretty good but I want to be upfront about that damage and the fact that that sags just a tad at the back. Other than that, lines are pretty good and everything. And nice car. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. What else didn't I tell you about this car? Well, I showed you underneath. Did I? I didn't. See what I mean here? You see what I'm saying? I took pictures, so that's what I said, I guess. Maybe I did show you. Well, if I did, I'm showing you again. Look how clean it is, man. Look, there's a cobweb or two. I've had this in a long time. Actually, you may never get the opportunity to buy this. See, now I'm remembering and I showed it to you. That because my dad is very interested in this car. A little skip on the paint there. And I remember it showing all this, but you know what? I want to make sure. I remember when I took my pictures. It's very hard to get to that oil pan. Oh, a tranny pan, and I want to make sure and show you that. So, that's that. You've seen everything here. Absolutely beautiful. All the undercoating. Still in great shape. Look at the tires. Little titties on the side. No dry rot in the tread or nothing. I'd say they're at, oh, 85%. Undercoating everywhere on this. All in great shape. Okay, so. Wow, that's a cool little brace and everything on it, man. Wow. <laughs> this thing's set up to go, buddy. And I'll tell you what, look at the, oh, wow, the exhaust and stuff. Duels into duels into duels. Wow, that's sweet. Uh, rock guard ship stuff along that bottom. The car is nice. I think I said that a few times, huh? All the stainless and chrome on it's in great condition. Um, and that's pretty much what I've got to say for the most part. My website is www.oneownercarguy.com and my name is Nathan. I'm going to put my shadow right through this thing and it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. If I end up, I won't answer. And I'm going to go ahead and do a test drive video, an interior video and upload that. And so you'll see a couple of them here and that's about it. See that 
palm tree in the background. That looks so sweet. Huh? Okay, that's the deal. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe, like, comment, and hey, share my video. I really appreciate it. Make sure and um, check out my channel. I've been giving away a free car. It's a Mercedes. Or you get cash, or you can put the money towards uh, any other car you want, including this one. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check out my channel on YouTube and play the free car game. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. And ain't that beautiful with that palm tree behind it? Woo! Looks good. Well, this is the 2000 Jaguar XJR. And I'm going to go ahead and, <laughs> I keep wanting to center it with that palm tree. I'm going to go ahead and do the test drive now. I've showed you the exterior and all that. And on the exterior, when I was bending down there, I don't know if I mentioned that scuff. I know I showed it. And there's a little that there and that there. Essentially, at some point, if you want, you should just respray the bumper, have it color matched, pull the code. Easy deal. And that's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and snap a picture because it just looks so good sitting there. And I'm going to get this thing on the road and do it to it. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And that's that. Check the eBay ad. Um, there's a couple things that I'm not 150% sure of that I might say during this that you can always check the eBay ad on. And I'm gonna make a text here. And I'm gonna start this, I love the green key. That's so cool, and the skeleton looking key. Okay, now, I paid to have the timing chains on this done. Hang on. Well, no. Radio works good. Okay, one more sec. I'm sorry. It's got 53,000 miles. Restricted performance. Track not available. ASC not available. Gearbox fault. Restricted performance. Now, this is because it's on a... Um, valet type mode and it's on the valet type mode because of um, the supercharger is bad so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it down the road just a little bit one owner a 93 I'm sorry it's a little bright out of a possible 67 to 87 um, the miles all check out and everything and it's past emissions and everything of course it's a newer car. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it down the road real quick. Auto locks and all that, they work. And it's on a restricted performance. And that's what you're gonna get is to that speed. And when you get to about 30, it coughs on you. It doesn't want to go any faster because you're in a restricted performance. <laughs> so there is a problem with the supercharger is what we were told last. Um, now the car is in great shape. Um, and obviously you've probably seen the exterior video and such by now. Um, and I don't know if you ever get the chance to buy it because my dad might actually take it for my mom. I actually hope he does, because then I can drive it every once in a while. See, it does that if you, it jumps and coughs a little if you get above 32. Right like that. So we'll just keep it there. Don't need to go too fast. And that's how much I want to drive it. It's just about that much. Now, I'm going to pull this in a different way here. I think he had me right in the... Nice parking spot. I think he actually did a great job parking, and I'm not doing such a great job. We'll see. Okay, a text. I did the timing chains on this, and I'm 99% sure of it. And I just asked my secretary, and she doesn't understand what I mean. So, ha! Huh. Okay, cool. Supercharger's bad, car drives, runs just fine. Um, I'm going to go over the interior and such and show you all that. Um, this was a test drive, and it's a shorter test drive on this one. 
Why is it a shorter test drive? It's a shorter test drive because it's got a little bit of an issue. So I ain't gonna drive it for a long time. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, steal this car. It's an absolute steal. And that's about that. Check out my website, and now I'm gonna do the interior, throw that in, and we'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and I'm here to do the interior review of this. Now I pulled over here out of the way because I was waiting and waiting and waiting for the sun to get over that area, and it just wouldn't do it, man. It just would not do it. So this is the car, and I didn't really give you a good look. Man, this car looks good. It's a 2000, it's a one owner, it has 58,000 original miles, and we are right on the side of the road. Yes, sir. -y. And that's that. Look at that beautiful baby. These are a blast to drive, peppy as can be. This is the interior review, like I've said, and door panels are in great condition. Love the wood inserts. There's some stress marks on this one right there. Hope you can see that just ever so light. You'd probably never notice it. Um, <clears throat> down here, there's hardly any pedal wear whatsoever. I mean, it's 58,000 miles. Your these are in great condition. Look, the all oh, this is just so nice. And I'm gonna actually lift this off to show you. Underneath is just like I don't know if anybody's ever touched it with their feet. All the clips here on this are good. Um, seat forward, backward, down in the front. Up in the front, up and down in the back, up in the back, recline, and come up from recline. I guess that's not what it's called, but you get my drift. Headrest, and lumbar. All that's good, all the electronics of it, and what have you. Um, I'll show you some options and stuff in a second. I'm gonna keep going the way I go on these. Rear door panels. Oh, it's just in great shape. Little oh, mark there, looks like it's got something on it. Rear air and all. Carpets are in great shape. Nice and tight. Wow, a pencil holder. <laughs> I doubt it's that, but it'll probably work for that, you know? Yeah, I don't like that. Hang on a second. I can almost fix that right here. Yeah, that's it, it's not through the hole. Hang on now, I think I almost got it. I did. Little rod right there wasn't through the hole. Oh, that's why, because. Oh! If that's through the hole, and behind there, it'll auto lock correctly. Oh, and I went too far and I got it out of that side. See how that goes? You go messing around with stuff you know nothing about. Well, there we go. And that looks a lot better. So, yeah, that is it. Huh? It just wasn't resting correctly. Now it is. The older ones have them on both sides. A little beeswax or something there. It's in great shape. I did the exterior review. I'm going to clip these all together here. Oh, in the trunk. It ain't junk. Look at this, man. And I didn't even know how to organize it all. Big old handbook here, supplemental quick guide type thing. Shipped a, there's a security code, I've got two of them. You get them both. Um, I had these organized different ways. It's just a gaggle of books and covers and supplements and the original window sticker. I'll give you this to where you can pause whatever you wanted to pause and read for a total of $76.45. Uh, 
United Kingdom and Germany. All Jaguar and Bosch. Okay, that's that. Did I show? I don't know if I show the tire. I'm gonna take these and bunch them up together. Lay them over here for you. Oh, and it does have the navigation system. I have not got a magazine for the disc changer. Full size spare, by the way, 18s. Still wrapped in what I think is the factory Continental is probably what these came with. Now they got nice Bridgestone Potenzas. They look, they look like you just replaced it. To tell you the truth. A leaf blowing. It's in great shape. Oh, the headliner sags a little bit in the back. Now I can get that replaced for you if you want. It's 180 to 220. And it'll be a brand new headliner and it'll look just awesome. I'm gonna back it up where I usually do this on the flat ground, on the flat ground, and show you some interior options and such. A little bit of fold over, especially on a leather like these Jags get. Not much of anything. Let me show you the options here. Down in the front, up in the front, down in the back, up in the back, forward, backward, recline, move it on up, and headrest. And lumbar. And that was me leaning over the lens, I'm sorry. Cause stuff's passing. Ooh, I seen it. In it. I was seeing it move here too. Yeah. yeah, you can see it go back. I don't know if you can see that on the film, but I can see it right here. Now, wheels, beautiful 18s. I like how these cars look. Showed you about everything. This little piece right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just actually. Keep that aside when I get pulled in there. And we got someone bringing a trailer back here. This ought to be interesting. I'm gonna have to go across there and do that. It's Charlie. And I'll be out of their way soon here. One owner car guy. Okay. For the options. I didn't end up moving it, by the way. Um, track not available. ASC not available. Gearbox fault. Restricted performance. Track not available. Same thing over now. Engine light and ABS. Hardly no fuel right now. But this has got the problem with the uh, supercharger. And it's not that it actually needs a supercharger. It's a part in the supercharger. And truthfully, it's just a little more inexpensive to get the whole supercharger on eBay, most likely. Oh, right there. No, it won't do that. I was wondering what that was. Oh, it's pulling that down just a bit. And... And the other side. And... This side, I had to find a button there. Mirrors. That's a good thing about this one, you know, you got all the working electronics and stuff. You can see the guy's boat there. He's probably gonna need to come in here. Hope not. We're doing a review. So all that's good. Then you've got AC and all that. Yeah, baby. Woo, slow down now. Um, volume comes on from your wheel. Mobile phone part. Actually, you got no magazine. It'll still do a thing right there. Now, I don't know how the um, navigation works in here. Because I don't see a screen, but I see the back thing for it there. So that's odd. Um, there's more steering wheel controls, cruise control and stuff over here. Um, you 
gearbox fault, and it's got that um, it's in valet mode, plain and simple. And he is in there, so we're gonna back up now. And I'll end this out in front of his place. Makes it a lot nicer for the cars on a nice flat surface like this. And I'll be able to show you this in a different way. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And that is that. Actually, I want to be more in the middle of this here spot. So I'm gonna back it out and pull it on in again. Here we go. These things drive awesomely. AC is nice and cold. Um, you've got that problem with the supercharger. Um, but as you can hear, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood while it's up like this on. Let you hear that it's not pinging or chinging away. And I paid you can hear it in the supercharger. I paid to have the timing belts all redone and all that, and it has had another supercharger put on it, and the parts are bad in that one. Um, so, awesome car, in great shape, runs great, and you can hear what's wrong with it. I've had it diagnosed, and you know, I get it fixed, there's no warranty. You get it fixed, there's a warranty. Um, I showed you on the other video that you have to kind of, well, that might work actually, tilt it down. Pull the handle out a bit, and then push it down like that, into that little bin. And other than that, that's the car, oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure and like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And if you got any questions, my number is 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. And other than that, beaglespocket.com for all your coolest little sweetest miniature beagles. And I'm sure you'll love them as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, this is the 2000 Jaguar XJR. And what a cool car. And an absolute steal here. Especially if you're the kind of guy that knows exactly what to do on this. Or if you got a good connection. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, import, export, any port in the world, you just let me know, we'll get it right out to you. Bye.